video is just incredibly late to be going up as an Easter video. I know Easter happened like over a month ago, but I just still really wanted to put it up. So I get to make holidays super special for my stepson and I take this really seriously. My fiance works incredibly insane hours. So a lot of the responsibilities of making holidays special kind of fall to me. And I don't mind that at all. I absolutely love it. Obviously holidays are split and on Easter, he usually wakes up Easter mornings with us. And I want to make sure that wherever he is, and especially if he's with us, that holidays are super special and he's super happy and excited. I want to make sure that it's special and that uh, my stepson feels special and it's just, I want him just to have a great day. If there's something that I can do to make him feel more loved or happier, I want to be able to do it and I want him to look back with great memories and of great days and great holidays and I want to start traditions that he can look back and see that you know we did the three of us did together so yeah I want to make the holidays super special but you know me if you have seen any of my videos you know that I am a health coach and I am super healthy so the idea of finding copious amounts of chocolate and candy in Easter eggs didn't really sit well with me. So what I did is I gave the Easter Bunny a couple of ideas and a couple of suggestions to put in the eggs this year. And as awesome as the Easter Bunny is, he definitely took my advice and he took my ideas and he made Easter just freaking awesome this year. And it actually works out because my stepson is not, doesn't really like that much candy. It's really funny because we'll, when we went out on Halloween, he will get the candy and then maybe have like five pieces that night and the candy just sits on the counter forever. He just kind of forgets about it. The different things that were put in the eggs, I think that he would actually prefer. I think that he had had more fun with. And um, so I think he didn't really miss all the candy anyways. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video and I'll show you guys what was in our Easter egg.
Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and you got maybe some ideas maybe for next year to kind of mix in with the Easter egg stuffers. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other ideas for egg stuffers that are our alternatives to candy. And also leave in the comments below if you're a stepmom. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. Hopefully though, the Easter Bunny did not totally leave us out in the cold as far as fake candy goes because he did love leave us each a dark chocolate bunny.